Nice Schlockmeister fans. Probably something you've never seen before. Koo Stark, the Adolescence. Let's check it out. That's Koo Stark. She plays Anna. And she's standing on a balcony watching a, a couple kind of get it on in the street a little bit. Has nothing to do with the plot, but there it is. Hannah's going to go to a school. You're really going to enjoy it, my girl. We'll have a few days together so that you get to know it a bit before you go to the school. See the sights, huh? Your father's a fabulous guide, whereas your mother couldn't even find the hotel. And it's no fun getting lost there, you know. <laughs> I may say we shall both find the separation very hard to The school is in London. Because we love you, you know that. Anyway, it's really very important that you begin to learn to fend for yourself. It's going to be the making of you. At school, she meets Carla. That woman went on to marry Al Jarreau. Well, I like smoking, even if it is against the rules. Can't really show you the girl's shower scene, but that's Koo Stark in a towel. The girl's gonna play a joke on her and they hit all her clothes. The girl's got busted for leaving the school. This is Miss Larson. I'm willing to bet that Anna had not the slightest intention of going out today until the two of you persuaded her. Am I right? No, no, Miss Lovney, but I who suggested it. The girl, other girl is Rosalind. For a long time, you've been using every trick in the book for your escapades. Whether they get in trouble or not, they decide to hit the town anyway. That's what they do. Carl and Rosalind, a little more world. At one point, they split up. Anna went off on her own. But she's come to this pub to wait for her friends. I uh, recognize you by the uniform. Now here we're going to see a photographer. Yeah, give me something to blow my mind and take it off these stupid women. He's got a problem. Rich. You know what she's done to me? Who do you mean? The model that I booked for today. I've been waiting at the studio since 3 o'clock. The picture stood me up. So now he has his eyes on Anna. Maybe Hi, gorgeous. she can model for him. Did you know you have a fantastically photogenic face? Well, Rosalind and Carla show up and they take Anna to that photographer's place. Apparently they know him and have posed for him before. Nude photos, risque photos. They're old pros. Now, now it's scared. Anna's turn. But Anna's not exactly willing. She refused to pose for him. And this is back at school now. What's the matter with you? Why aren't you with us? You're not still mad at what happened at the weekend, are you? When I was your This is Miss Larson again. I know what we'll do. We'll go up to London on Saturday, the two of us, just like a couple of friends. That would also give me a chance to do some shopping for myself. What do you say to that? So now she wants it's to take her to London. Thank you, Ms. Larson. Thank you very much. But based on her if last experience... Mind, I would prefer to stay here. Very well. If you decide to go out with us this weekend, I'll talk to Jimmy and have him teach you a thing or two. I already told you I'm not going out with you again. Ah, I see. Let's so. Jimmy comes to pay her a visit. Jimmy is one of the guys with the photographer. Her after a go. He well, kind of fancies her. The girls see Anna walking with Jimmy and... What are you seeing him? I just can't see. Rosalind's a little jealous. To do that guy's favor. With Rosalind's permission, of course. No, you mean with Anna's. Rosalind gets her revenge in fencing class. Are you all right? Dating montage with uh, Anna and Jimmy. Frank Sinatra playing in the background. Our couple's getting closer. It's a little bit dark, but they start kissing. So Jimmy takes Anna back to his apartment and things are getting a little hot and heavy, but it 
If you notice, it looks like they're on television. That's because Jimmy has cameras hidden in the room. And that photographer pal of his is watching every step. Can't show you a lot of this because Kustark gets naked, as does the guy, but things get real hot and heavy, and that fella watches it all. Besides having yourselves a good time, you're also well paid for it. Me, I just get landed with the donkey work. On top of which, I have to carry the can when your chick sounds so good. Hey, don't worry, man. Next Saturday, you and I lock ourselves up with that chick, and he can press the button. <laughs> what do you say, Jimmy? <laughs> I'd like to know what you'd be capable of with a woman. Oh, well, that guy took the pictures and video and took frames from the video and has now sold them to his magazine. And those pictures are now published. He now feels bad about it. Christ. He kind of comes Whatever clean about I've it. Known you, everything's become so much more important. Would have been better for you if we'd never met. He doesn't really tell her everything. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to forgive me. enough. So why don't you get the hell out of here and leave me alone? Of course, you oh, may have recognized the woman that he's talking to let the other two take over is Miss Larson. You'd have got your share and everybody would have been happy. As far as I'm concerned, the whole thing's finished. She's in on it. How many times have I got to tell you? But you Jimmy gets so angry that he trashes the place. What kind of a You got me into this, and I'm going to get myself out of it as fast as I can. Pulling all the cords out, hidden cameras. So they were all at a field trip, and Anna was coaxed away by uh, the photographer who said, Hey, let's go meet Jimmy. Jimmy had nothing to do with it. In fact, he's actually looking for Anna now. I can't show you much of what happens next. But the black guy basically assaults her, while the other guy takes pictures. Jimmy gets there, but he's too late. Yeah. While the guy is uh, developing the pictures, and Jimmy goes on a rampage. That guy pulls out a knife. And the cops show up. At a guess, I'd say there must be more than 200 girls between the ages of 15 to 18 in this lot alone. And God knows there are probably more elsewhere. James Carson, better known as Jimmy. He's English. 26 years old. Escaped from various approved schools and bostels with a string of convictions for theft and causing a public nuisance. So the three guys got arrested. It is my painful duty girls. to inform you that the Board of Governors has decided to expel you, since it considers you to be a danger to the other girls. And a blemish on the good name of the school. Expulsion, end of movie. Believe me, I have done everything I can to help you and to try to avoid this disgrace you and your family. All right, let's talk about the movie The Adolescence. This is a movie that I picked up from Video Search of Miami. They were a company that was selling, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, bootleg movies back in the uh, early 2000s, late 90s, in that range here. This was actually one of the first ones I picked up from them. To my knowledge, this has never been released on videotape or DVD anywhere in the world, so I don't know where they even got a hold of it. Perhaps this was shown on cable in the early, early 80s, uh, late 70s, who knows? I never saw it when it was when I had cable back in the day, but 
clearly it came from somewhere, and we have a, uh, an English language version of it here too. So anyway, the movie itself stars Koo Stark. Uh, this came out in 1975. Um, Koo Stark, um, you may remember her from the movie Emily as well. She did a movie called Justine Desaad, I think it was called, or Justine Cruel Passion, something like that. She was also in some uh, cut scenes from the movie Star Wars. She played Cammy in that movie. Uh, you can still find uh, clips of her um, various places around the internet. It's out there. But anyway, that's Koo Stark. She was also known for uh, dating Prince Andrew at the time. However, once they found out that she had done some racy movies like this, um, they kind of said, you can't date her anymore. So that's how that ended. Anyway, Koo Stark stars in this movie. She was like 19 at the time. She's in a girl's school, and it's kind of like a coming-of-age type thing, or at least that's what it's kind of portrayed to be. Um, she goes to this school, and she meets two other girls, uh, Carla and Rosaline, I think was her name. It was Rosaline. Um, they're a little more wildly, wild and, and worldly type girls. So they all go to London at one point, um, and they kind of do the town. And uh, they introduce uh, Anna, that's Koo Stark's character, they introduce her to this photographer who takes pictures of them pictures in the nude and, su and such. Uh, very racy stuff. Now, these girls are, like, uh, supposedly underage, um, and what this photographer does, he ends up putting them in this magazine um, and, and sells these things. I don't know if that's considered legal or what, but nonetheless, that's what the pictures are. Well, one of the guys there kind of romances uh, Anna. Her name is James. They kind of become a couple a little bit, and he kind of falls for her. He's actually, and he ends up, uh, I guess, taking her virginity, um, and all the while, while they're in there, though, there's cameras rolling and pictures and everything, and is going in those pictures end up getting uh, published as well. So James feels real bad about it because he's starting to fall for Anna. So he decides to put an end to the everything. Meanwhile, the other two guys who are involved with this, they take uh, Anna and for lack of a better term, kind of kidnap her, saying, hey, come meet us here. James is going to be there, blah, blah, blah. They take her there, and one of the guys uh, rapes her, and uh, they take pictures of that while that's happening, too. James comes back, and he beats the hell out of everybody. All three of them end up getting arrested, and they're in a lineup, and then there's a big scandal about this uh, pornographic stuff going on, and that's kind of how our movie ends. Actually, not quite. The three girls uh, back in the girls' school, it turns out they're like Mother Superior, whoever in the school was also in on it. She's the one who kind of wanted these women to go to London, because she you know, probably got paid for something. Anyway, the three girls end up getting expelled from school, and that's how our movie ends with the girls' fathers coming to pick them up. There you go. Um, this movie, I probably was just basically made to show off the the young bodies of Koo Stark and uh, Carla, who's played by Susan Player, I think was her name. She went on to marry, marry Al Jarreau. They were married for like 40 years. Um, uh, she has some full frontal nudity in this in this movie. Koo Stark is nude. There's some other nude scenes as well, some shower scenes. It's basically kind of a titty movie uh, wrapped around a drama. Uh, I guess kind of a crime drama if you consider pornography. Um, uh, it's not really a crime drama. But anyway, anyway, that's the movie here. Adolescence, like I said, not available on, on DVD or VHS that I'm aware of. If, if you're aware of it, tell me. I'd like to get a better copy of it. So I just burned a DVD-R from um, the tape that I had and made some homemade box art. So we got The Adolescence, right? So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Has anybody else seen this movie besides me? It's pretty rare. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. The Adolescence. Bye.